If you've watched my model train videos, you might already know that I have 21 G-scale locomotives in my collection. Well, maybe I should say that I had 21, because now I have 22. This is my new one. It's a model of a EMD SD70 ACE locomotive, and it was manufactured by MTH Electric Trains. If you're into model trains, you might know that this is the last model year for MTH. They're going to be shutting down forever later this year. So I feel very lucky to have one of the very last G-Scale trains they've produced. And I'm sure that this will be a collector's item that will be a valuable part of my collection for many years to come. Here in my new home state of Washington, BNSF locomotives are a common sight. We have lots of railroad tracks that run through this area, and while we do occasionally see Canadian Pacific locomotives, the orange BNSF locomotives are by far the ones we see most often. It never gets old to me. I am always thrilled when I spot one, and ever since we moved up here last year, I've wanted to have a BNSF locomotive in my collection. And now, I do. In case you don't know, BNSF stands for Burlington Northern and Santa Fe. It's the company formed in 1995 when the Burlington Northern Railroad merged with the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway. And BNSF Railway is owned by Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway. My new G-Scale BNSF locomotive has a road number of 9370. And a quick search on Google turned up this photo of the real thing that mine is modeled after. As I mentioned earlier, the model was manufactured by MTH Electric Trains. And at first glance, it looks very similar to the other three MTH locomotives in my collection. But if you look from above, you can see that the back end is totally different from the other three because the other three are modeled after a GE-8 locomotive, and this one's modeled after an EMD SD70. Also, the sound of the horn is slightly different from my other three. And it's actually faster than the other three. It'll be fun to do a race sometime. You can see there's an engineer in the cab. And there are lights to light up the cab, as well as headlights up front. And this model train is outfitted with DCC. So I'm able to operate it from a tablet or my cell phone. The locomotive has a full set of realistic digital sound effects built in, as well as a smoke generator. My intention today was to just give you an introduction to my new BNSF locomotive. My neighbor John helped me lay down track around my backyard, and over the next few days I'll be working on shooting my next video, which will give you a full look at this new locomotive in action pulling freight cars on a long layout all around my yard. And I'll run a few of my other trains on the layout too. I think it'll be a fun video to watch. So that's what you have to look forward to in my next video here on YouTube. In the meantime, I'm gonna be putting up links on the screen to some of my other videos that I think you'd enjoy. And if you subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to turn notifications on, YouTube will let you know when I've posted that next video of this new BNSF locomotive running all around my backyard. I'm Jim Zim. Thanks for watching.